Dr. Atkinson is playing with the two main isotopes of uranium. Uranium-238 is very dense and you can use it in armor because it will bounce missiles off it. Nice. Uranium-235, you don't want to go smashing that about because it will then undergo nuclear fission. The physical properties of the isotopes are very different indeed. In fact, isotopes have the same chemical properties, but different physical properties. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's take those two isotopes of uranium, same number of electrons, same atomic number, same number of protons, same atomic number, and the difference, the number of neutrons, well, that's slightly different. Now, the chemistry is going to be the same, because chemistry, after all, is to do with charged particles, electrons and protons. So the heat of combustion, for example, is the same. I don't know, uh, adding fluorine to it, the delta H is the same. All the chemical properties are the same. Iodine-131, which comes from the fallout of nuclear disasters, will go to your thyroid, probably give you cancer. But you can take iodine-127, a non-radioactive isotope, and that will just allow you to pee out the radioactive one. The chemical properties are the same. Physically, they're very different. And again, why is that? The protons and the electrons are the same for both isotopes of iodine, giving it the same chemistry. But because of the different numbers of neutrons, well, that leads to different physical properties. In this case, uh, different amounts of radioactivity. 131 is radioactive. So, what does the IB want you to know? Well, it really wants you to know three things. It wants you to know that the heavier one has a higher mass, Dewey. The heavier one has a higher density. Uh, okay, so density is mass over volume. And we're going to assume that the volume of the atom is unchanged for each isotope. So that means higher mass is higher density. Okay. And the last one, a little trickier, is the rate of diffusion. So what does that mean? So to cut a long story short, the lighter isotope, when you turn into a gas, moves faster, travels further. The reason is, well, the kinetic energy of the gas is proportional to temperature. If the kinetic energy of the lighter isotope and the heavier isotope is the same, it's the same temperature, then half mv squared, half mv squared. Notice that the lower mass has a higher speed and the higher mass has a lower speed. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, they never asked about it. 